So, in this video, we are going to make two chicken roulades with different fillings, one with cheese and the other with dried prunes. You will need two chicken legs and two chicken breasts, 200 grams of Dutch cheese, 200 grams of prunes, and some spices. I prefer to use various kinds of pepper, basalic, paprika, and garlic. You will also need thin sheets of plastic wrap for food. Basically, that's all you will need. As you can see, it is going to be very affordable, yet pretty tasty dish. The first thing we should do is cut the chicken breast into small pieces. You can slice it first, then cut it into cube-shaped pieces. Now let's continue with chicken legs. It will be more difficult and will probably require you to work with your hands more. You may ask, why don't we just take only breast meat instead of legs? Well, as you have probably guessed, legs have quite a lot of sinews and ligaments that will help keep our roulade together in one piece. So, cut the meat from the legs into small pieces and put it next to the breast meat. After you have cut the meat into pieces, put the meat from the breast into the bowl and mash it with a blender. Do not mash the leg meat. After you have completed with mashing the breast meat, we can go on to the next step of mixing the meat together. So mix the leg meat and the breast meat together until it becomes homogenous.
Now you can use the spices. I am using salt, pepper, basalic, and paprika here. Now mix the meat again by pressing and beating it with your hands. You can wash your hands with cold water from time to time so that the meat doesn't stick to your fingers. After you feel that the meat is ready, divide it into two equal parts since we are going to have two roulades. Now we are ready to cut the main fillings, which are cheese and dry prunes. Let's cut the cheese first. Again, again, cut it into small cube shaped pieces. You can use whichever cheese you like, but I prefer ordinary Dutch cheese. Put the cheese pieces onto the first part of the meat. Now cut the prunes into small pieces, just like you did with the cheese.
put the prune pieces onto the meat. Now, you need to mix the meat with the cheese and prune fillings. Again, don't forget to wash your hands with water so that the meat doesn't stick to your fingers. Mix the next meat with the prunes. So let's take the plastic wrap and roll it onto the table. Put one pile of meat onto the wrap. Make it look like a roulade and start to wrap the roulade. Then roll the roulade onto the surface of the table while holding the two ends of plastic wrap. Let's make small knots on the two ends of the roulade. I suggest to put the roulade inside another sheet of plastic wrap because when you will be boiling it, the wrap may tear apart and your meat will flow into the water.
So the first chicken roulade is ready. Let's continue with the second cheese roulade. Put the meat onto the plastic wrap. Make the kneaded shape of a roulade. Roll the roulade on the table. Don't forget to make small knots on the ends of the roulade. And again, put the roulade inside the second sheet of plastic wrap to secure the meat properly. Now put the roulades into the casserole with boiling water and boil them for half an hour. When the roulades are ready, take them out of the casserole and let them cool down a little bit. After the roulades reach room temperature, they are ready to eat. They can also be stored in the fridge for a couple of days without losing the taste. I hope you enjoyed this short course, and I wish you bon appetit.